first of six, dozens of roads underwater across our western mountains. We're seeing historic flooding as rivers and creeks overflow their banks. From 72 hours of rain, you're looking at the Yadkin River raging along Buffalo Cove Road in Lenore. Both Lenore and Hickory are seeing top five rain totals all time for a three day stretch. Turn around, don't drown. That's the big message tonight from officials. This is a road underwater by Wilson's Creek in Caldwell County. We're getting reports of water rescues in Lenore and the flood threat. It isn't over just yet. Rain will continue tonight into tomorrow. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for watching us here on NBC Charlotte. I'm Xavier Walton. Right now, three counties under a state of emergency. They are Catawba, Caldwell, and Alexander counties. Nearly all of the western Piedmont and foothills are under a flood watch until 8 tonight. We're also learning Catawba County schools will be closed tomorrow. We've got live team coverage tonight. Chloe Lester and Kendall Morse are taking a look at some of those communities that are hit hard by flooding. But we're going to start with meteorologist Chris Mulcahy, who is back in the First Horn Storm Center tracking the flooding threat. Chris. Hey, thanks a lot, Xavier. Now around the Charlotte area, we haven't seen all that much, but check out these rate and totals. These are just estimates seeing a range of about six to nine inches over the last 48 hours. So this is incredible, and that's why we've had so many flash flood warnings and just problems and all that video that you saw. So that area of purple stretching through parts of Catawba County, likely why many schools are closed through Hickory up to Little River, and then we're expanding more rain over to Lenore, and we can expect another couple inches as we continue for the rest of this evening. Really, it's just general bullseye. A range of five to nine inches has fallen over the last two days. Right now, we do have a couple of flash flood warnings, including one just for Avery County. That goes until 7 p.m. This one, even though we have no rain, still an active environment with all those flood waters still on the rise on some of our major rivers, such as the Catawba. So Avery, Burke, Caldwell County under this flash flood warning until 630. Meanwhile, we also have general area flood warnings for parts of Catawba County, also parts of Gaston County. That's including the Catawba River at Lowell and also an area flood warning right on the border of Gaston and Mecklenburg County. And that is going to be for Mountain Island Lake because all this rain that we saw up here is going to be flowing downstream. That's only going to be causing more problems. We're also developing a few more showers and storms. We had this one little outflow boundary that's triggering out more showers. Really no thunder and lightning to go along with this, but we're far from done. Look at all this rain, about 74 miles from the 485 loop. It is moving very slow. That is also upping our flooding potential, only moving at 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we can expect a lot more widespread rain to work its way back into Charlotte in about four to five hours. Coming up, I'm going to have your full forecast. Xavier. All right, Chris, thank you. Alexander County is one of the places under a state of emergency tonight. This is video near the town of Bethlehem. Now, we did speak with the homeowner who says his boat and dock were swept away and got stuck underneath a bridge. Now to Caldwell County. Check this out. A road just completely collapsed from flooding. Look how big that hole is. This is off of Rink Dam Road. You can see the amount of damage really just showing the sheer power floodwaters can really have. And we're getting a look at, at similar scenes in Hickory. High water is forcing dozens of families out of their apartments. That's where we find our Chloe Lester joining us live now. And Chloe, how are those people doing out there tonight? Yeah, Xavier, let me give you a look at just how dangerous this situation was. Take a look behind me here. You can see a huge chunk of the street and sidewalk completely obliterated by all of the rain. And the creek was actually much higher before, so much so that the people who live in these apartments had to be evacuated in the middle of the night. And it's not just here across the way. The people who live in those apartments were also forced out. People are just amazed at the power of water. Firefighters making sure people aren't in their apartments after mandatory evacuations because of this flooding and damage. I say about 4, 4.30 we get a knock at the door from the fire chief telling us we just had to go. We had to be evacuated. Lakia Cleveland isn't sure when she'll be able to go home. It was scary. Um, the water was just rushing. It was just, it was crazy. This was the view from her bedroom window this morning. It's basically um, call my rental insurance and wait, wait, wait. So they haven't even given you any timeline? No, not at all. As of 315, 42 people were at the shelter set up by the Red Cross. Man, that thing looks dangerous. But Mika Sample didn't evacuate. He's waiting it out with no power, no water, and five kids. I never think water could do this. I never, I never imagined. The thing about it is we go to the creek all the time and just go down there, like, go fishing a little bit. So now that I know that the water could do this, I'm not going to take the kids down there no more. 
and there really is no timeline for when all of this work will be done, but the Red Cross is committed to providing a shelter for all of the people who have been displaced. Live in Hickory tonight, Chloe Leshner, NBC Charlotte. Floodwaters impacting families out there in Lenora. Chloe, thank you. Now we've got more stunning video to show you. This is the Oxford Dam in Conover. This is in Catawba County. And you can see just how high and fast that water is moving. This paints a really good picture of how much rain has fallen in a 72 hour period. Just think there's more rain to come as well. Now heading east, this is the scene in Wake Forest. You can see uh, a car right there uh, submerged in floodwaters from a creek there uh, from a balcony or from a patio. Officials warning everyone to really heed those warnings because the floodwaters waters could really be dangerous. Now a video of flash flooding out of Wilkes County. Forecasters say four to five inches of rain fell within 48 hours. Now the flood threat and concerns continue to grow as the rain will continue to fall. And back here in Mecklenburg County, Mountain Island Lake, uh, residents are being warned about flooding as well. The Catawba River feeds into the lake, and that's where we find Kendall Morris uh, joining us live now from the lake. And Kendall, you've been out there for a while. Um, what's it like for residents out there? Well, residents are getting prepared for the threat of what is to come. If you take a look out here, this is Mountain Island Lake. You can see that the levels are up at this time. Duke Energy at last check reported that the lake is at 101 feet, which is above the target level. Now, the National Weather Service says high flow is causing significant rises along Mountain Island Lake, possibly to levels not seen since May of 2013. That's when the lake crested at 104 feet. Duke Energy is projecting a crest not to exceed 105 feet this time. Now, if the lake gets to that level, the National Weather Service says it could cause significant flooding of lake access areas, docks, and residential yards close by. Now, we talked to people who live close to here on the Catawba River, and they are getting their properties ready for the worst. We'll keep checking the Duke Power Energy levels. We'll keep looking at that. And, I mean, we just got to get prepared, and then we sit and wait till it, it does what it's going to do. Now, the National Weather Service, they are urging people who live along Mountain Island Lake and the Catawba River to heed all warnings from local officials. They are uh, saying that you need to make sure that you have the alerts and are signed up for the alerts from the Charlotte Mecklenburg Emergency Management. We do know that people who live close to here, they say that the fire chief did come by and warn them about the possibility of flooding to come. Reporting live on Mountain Island Lake, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte. All right, Kendall, thank you. Breaking news in Lincolnton Highway Patrol has identified the three people killed when their car slid into a creek. It happened on Highway 27 off of Rock Dam Creek Road. 52 year old Lloyd Neal was behind the wheel. 22 year old Sebastian Friedel and 46 year old Andrew Abernathy were passengers in the vehicle. Officials say the car hydroplaned off the road, hit a tree and then overturned into Rock Dam Creek. And be sure to download the NBC Charlotte mobile app and stay up to date with our social media pages. We'll, of course, keep you up to date on the severe weather and the flooding threat.